Um, I'm just going to jump right into it because I don't want this video to be super long. I'm going to first start off with what's on my lips though because I'm going to get questions. Um, on my lips I have the Urban Decay, what is this, 24-7 Glide On Lip uh, Liner in Anarchy and it's just a bright hot pink color. And then over that I have the MAC matte lipstick in candy yum yum this was a popular color it was limited edition and then it was permanent so um if you want this you can go to your mac stores and try to find it it's such a pretty like super neon hot pink color i absolutely love it and it's gorgeous for like the summertime and if you want to feel like a barbie so that's what's on my lips right now i don't have any blush on or anything i just have my favorite bronzer of right now, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. This is not a part of my favorites because I already mentioned this before. So I'm trying to like mention things that I haven't mentioned before. So that's what today's going to be. Um, on my nails, if you're curious, it's just one of those Sally Hansen like sticker nail strip thingies. Let's just jump into my favorites of this month. I have a bunch of skincare and then a few makeup items. I'll start off with the um, skincare though. The first thing I have here is a Super Goop. Um, SPF 30 Everyday Face and Body Lotion. I actually only use this on my face just because if I use it on my body, I would probably go through it like super quick because it's so small. But it's perfect for the face. So this is what it looks like. I got mine at Ulta, but I think they discontinued this actually. But, you know, it's summertime now, or at least it's almost summertime. So you definitely need an SPF for the face. I highly recommend it. I... Like, growing up, my mom would always make me slather myself in SPF, and I hated it. But now that I'm older, I understand because she keeps telling me, she's like, if you don't put on SPF, you're going to get all these sunspots like I have on my face. And my mom has really bad sunspots, and so I always need SPF on the face. Um, just this year, actually, I've been really into SPF. So if you guys are going to be at the beach or out in the sun a lot, and your face is going to, you know, absorb the sun, you need SPF. You know, you need to really, like, save your skin almost. So the Super Goop one's really nice. There are other affordable ones. I know this one's kind of pricey, but this one's really nice because it's not too thick and it's, it's you know, thin enough where I can wear it on the face throughout the day. And I have combination oily skin and this one's perfectly fine on me. It does have like, you know, that sunscreen scent to it, but it's not super strong. So that's why I really like this one. Again, it's by Super Goop SPF 30. You want at least 30 on the face, especially if you're at the beach, at least. Especially for a summer, I, I don't recommend wearing this like every day in the summer unless you're okay with wearing like, um... A little bit of a heavier foundation, but for me, it's it's good for those nights out, going out to the bars or clubs or anything like that, if that's what you guys do, out to dinner or anything, um, really long wearing, full coverage foundation. So the Kat Von D Tattoo Locket Foundation, it has 24 hour wear, full coverage, transfer resistant, matte finish, which is true, it's a completely matte foundation. So that's why I'm kind of like, eh, it's not really for summer, but it's still good for like those night times, um, you know, events or, you know, parties or anything like that. So it is oil free also, which is good. Mine is in the color M54. I think that's the color. Okay, on to some more makeup. Um, obviously I showed you guys this lip liner earlier, but I have been obsessing, totally obsessing over the Urban Decay lip liners. They, they are awesome. They're super smooth. They're the 24-7 glide on lip things. They are actually for the eye and they are the Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof um, Eyeliners. Now, I know these are really popular, but I've never really dabbled into the Stila liners. I don't know why, but I do have quite a few that I haven't really used. But lately, this month, I've been using these two colors. I think I, I featured both of these in a tutorial before, so um, I've just been loving them. I am actually wearing this one, which is Lionfish. This was in my Bronze Goddess tutorial. Is this going to focus? I don't know if you guys can see the name Lionfish, but it's pretty much a dark brown color. I'll even do a swatch for you guys. It is so gorgeous. It's a really, really dark brown. I have it on my eyes today. All I'm wearing is this eyeliner smudged out with... Oh, I should probably just show you anyway. Smudged out with the Coastal Sense eyeshadow right here. That one's in Roast. I literally lined my eyes, did a slight wing, and then I was like, you know what? Let me just smudge it out. I'm not wearing any liquid liner today, you guys. You guys know I'm obsessed with my Maybelline Line Stiletto liquid liner. Mm -mm, not wearing that today. I'm just wearing this smudged out um, with that Deep Roast Coastal Sense eyeshadow and then MAC 
cork in the crease. Like really super simple and easy. Um, and I've been loving these smudge stick liners. I wear these on the waterline too. I'm wearing this one on the waterline today. And they actually stay. Like they stay really well. But the other color I've been really liking, which is funny because this is more of like a fall color, but it's a dark plum color called Aubergine. I'll put it right next to the brown. So the bottom is Lionfish, this one's Aubergine, and it's pretty much a dark purple, like too wet, um, so I've been loving that. I do have one almost, I guess it's kind of like a regret, not really a regret, but I just, I, I don't love it, so I can't say it's an absolute favorite for this month, but I have been using it. It's the Mali Volumizing Mascara, which is actually pretty popular. Um, I've heard some people talk about it on YouTube, but yeah, it looks like this. I'll show you guys the wand. I've been using this pretty much for a good amount of the month, but I can't decide if I like it yet. So it's been a long time since I've been using this, and like for me to not decide if I like it or not, I probably don't love it. You know what I mean? Um, I like the formula. I love the wand, like the brush it has. I love that, just because it's not like super plasticky. Um... I don't know, but I find it uh, flaking on me sometimes and smudging sometimes, so I, I'm not a huge fan of the Ma Mali Volumizing Mascara. I know a lot of people love it, though, so I guess it works for some people, doesn't work for others, but this one was not good for me this month. And that is pretty much all I have for my May 2014 favorites. I hope you guys found this helpful. I wanted to give you guys little small reviews on everything, so I hope you guys got some kind of information out of this. Let me know what you guys have been loving for the month of May, or even right now, currently. Let me know what you guys have been favoriting, so I can just go to the store, check it out, and maybe try it myself. So, Or if you have a May favorites video, or you make YouTube videos, tweet me. I would love to watch them. I'll retweet them. Um, I, I just really want to watch favorites videos and hauls. I love haul videos. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys found this helpful and enjoyed it. Um, if you have any other questions, leave them down below. I will get back to you. And other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! See you guys next.